Hey, yo, my nigga study scriptures, but live by the code of the street. Only heat to leave peace in the minds of deceased. Talk to shots in the crowds of hit. Enemies are innocent. Empty clips, litter city blocks, adolescents rocking hardware. But they scared of triggers, so they flash it from their waistband. Actually, speak to people in my wasteland with alcoholic shooter knowledge. Brains flooded with proof 100%. The black man, hostage and proper places in the midst of. Tales from the Bookings is based on true stories from Baltimore City's Central Booking and Intake Facility. So listen, learn, and enjoy. Man, so we over here in the motherfucking Bookings and shit, right? So we get where they great shake down. So man, my man's approach these three young niggas. It's a tall one, a short one, and a fat one. I'm like, hey, yo, come in, motherfucker. I said, they gonna shake our shit down tonight. They gonna flip shit, search everything. So the tall one, like... Thanks, OG. And I'm like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody trying to warn your dumb ass. So I'm like, anyways, one of you niggas is going to hide this phone up your ass, and the other one is going to hide this damn charger. Or else. So the little nigga like, do the prongs fall down on the charger? The big one is like, or else what? Or else I pull this big ass knife out and chop your dumb ass the fuck up. Fuck you, man. Now, it's a strong motherfucking possibility you might die. Maybe you were coming with God's fucking favor or some shit like that and it'd spare your motherfucking life after a few operations. So the time is like, let me get this shit straight. You gonna let a phone that was up another nigga ass touch your ears and face? Man, that shit nasty. Out of habit, I slap some damn shit out this nigga. Open hand, this nigga falls the fuck out, I'm trying to tell you. I'm a habitual bitch ass nigga slapping, pardon me. <laughs> so I'm talking to the two still on their feet and the little guy it's like, but do the prongs fold And I'm like, yeah, nigga. And he's like, how long is the court? I'm like, it's pretty short. And he's like, I'm going to go ahead and take that charge. And let me get that. So everybody turned to Fat One like, man, you know what's up. And the Fat One points down at the top and on the ground. He's like, man, that nigga going to take the phone. That day, the new inmates learned some very valuable lessons. First, you may be required to make very difficult decisions. Second, the wrong decision may result in death or very serious injury. And finally, jail sucks! Carry by eight at funeral wakes when not being judgmental when we're telling you you're doing wrong. Just we see the same story ending the sad song. Parents looking at your high school picture, wishing they done better. Maybe y'all would still be together. TV showing y'all fast money and cars. They don't show you 20 years in penitentiary bars. On the streets won't listen to no man. Suck in jail, gotta listen to the CO and ward and it goes. His mass is coming. You don't wanna be there when he catch you front. A lot of kids talking about platinum grill. 